Hey what's going on guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another quick tutorial. This tutorial also about the Elementor design and also about the Elementor tips and tricks. Alright so in today's video I will show you how you can create this popular and modern glass morphism effect and also this kind of mouse over effect using Elementor. I will show you how you can create this kind of design using the Elementor widgets and the features and little bit of CSS code. So if you like to see how to make this kind of glass effect with our text box, without any further ado, let's get started. First I'm taking a new section and here I'm taking a three column structure and now going to edit section, going to height, making the height to fit to screen and going to style tab for this session i'm setting a background image so from here image going to upload i'm taking this image and the image position making it to center center and size making it to cover all right now for the first column first click here and then first i'm taking a inner section and removing one column and now for the empty column I'm taking some widgets like going here and first I'm taking the heading and now changing it to some features like web design and now going to style tab and changing the font style first changing the color to white and then typography making the font family to poppins and the font size i'm taking 22 or 25 then font weight making it to 600 and you can add some letter spacing and now finally changing the alignment center so going to content and alignment making it to center so this is done and then i'm adding some more text so going to text editor and in a similar way going to style tab and changing the alignment to center the color making it to white then typography making the font family to same font poppins and the size we can check 15 pixel and font weight is okay all is good and then finally we can take a read more button so click on this nine dots icon then here is the button it's taking the default design of this theme and here now i'm changing the text to read more making the alignment to center and going to changing the style going to typography making the font family same as poppins and font size you can try 14 and font weight making it to default or you can try 300 okay I'm adding 600 then letter spacing adding 1 pixel or 1.5 all right and then the color so here is the color you can change the background color to the same background color like here I'm adding the dark blue and now we can change the transparency and also I'm going to add the background color for this whole column I'm going to the inner section going to the style tab and background type and taking the color this time I'm taking the dark blue and also adding some transparency and now going to add some padding so going to add font step and first adding padding to 20 and for top and bottom first making it to unlink and for top i'm adding 50 or 70 and same for bottom and for left and right you can also make it to 25 all right looks good 
and here you can decrease the spacing between each item so going to edit column and widget spacing making it to 0 or you can make it to 5 or 10 yeah 10 is good and finally top of the title we can add some more text like you can add icons or numbers or anything so first I'm going to duplicate this one and for the first one I'm changing the text to 01 and this time going to style tab making the font size more larger making it to 150 and you can decrease the line height you can make it to 0 and the color text color we can decrease the transparency you can make it to very light so it will work like watermark and going to advanced tab here we can also make the jd index to minus one or we can increase the jd index for the title so going to advanced tab for this one and jd index we can make it to one so it will show in top and also for this text you can add some spacing in top so from advanced tab you can add some top margin i have added 70 pixel on top so this looks good and for this text we can also move it in top so in the similar way we can add some minus margin in top so first making it to unlink and for top adding minus 10 yeah looks good and finally the button style so again going here and for this button you can add some shadow so for that if I scroll down here is the box shadow and I'm adding some shadow looks good and finally going to the outer box i mean the inner section going here and for this area i'm going to add some more style so going to style tab and going to border here you can add some border in top and the left side so border type i'm adding solid and width we can add three making it to unlink for the right side making it to zero and for bottom making it to zero and now changing the color so i'm selecting this dark blue color and now decreasing the opacity if i check the full screen so it looks like this and also for this section we can add some border radius we can add 50 or 10 if I check so it looks like this not bad and finally I'm going to add the glass morphism effect with this section so our background will look kind of blur so for that going to edit inner section I'm already here and then going to advance if I scroll down here is the options custom CSS by the way so this option will be available for Elementor Pro only so if you still did not get Elementor Pro I will leave the pro download link in my description so you can check it from there and after activating the Elementor Pro you can get this CSS options and here I need to add a single line of code so for that going to my website and simply copy this CSS code I will also leave this page link in my description now paste it here and we can see our background is now looks blurry so here is a simple line of code backdrop filter and blur so we can increase the blur effect this is now 5 pixel we can make it to 1 pixel so it's now decreasing or you can add 10 so it more blurry all right so i'm adding 5 pixel this is perfect and finally save changes 
and finally we can add some hover effect with this section or column area and for that we have to go to the edit column section and from advanced area if I scroll down here is the motion effect and here mouse effect so I'm enabling it and 3d tilt if I check here direction here is two options direct and opposite so in this state if I check we can see or we can hide the left sidebar and now you can see this is a cool hover effect and here if we check the direction for now it's working the same direction with our mouse and if we change it to the opposite so now it's working as opposite direction cool all right so I'm done and saving it and in the similar way I'm going to duplicate the inner section I'm moving it to the second column again duplicate and moving it to the another one and now simply changing the all other text making the second one to 0 2 and the third one 0 3 and also changing the title all right so I'm done and finally if I check the responsive view so the bottom left corner click on this responsive and we can also hide the left sidebar and now click on the tablet so it looks good on tablet or you can make some little adjustment like we can change the padding and the button size and if I check the phone view so phone view looks good by default so we need to work for the tablet going here and for the button we can change the button text size going to typography font size making it to 12 and going to padding we can make it to 10 and for that left and right we can make it to 20 and just copy the style and paste the style here and also we can decrease the padding so going to the first section changing the padding we can change from the right side we can make it to 15 making it to unlink and for top we can try with the 50 and bottom 50 looks good and going to copy the style and paste it to another one paste style and also paste style and finally we can change this font size for our tablet going to style tab and typography making the font size to 20 going to copy paste style and paste style all right so tablet looks good and if i go to the phone view i think phone view is okay and going back to the desktop cross it and finally we can increase the column gap for this section so from the edit section here column gap we can make it to extended looks good and finally save changes so here is all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up Otherwise, you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here, like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.